Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be doing another Hogwarts Legacy GPU comparison and analysis video. So in this one we're going to be taking a look at the RX 6700 XT. So this one is going to be similar to an RTX 2080 Ti, RTX 3070, and RTX 3060 Ti. So right in that kind of uh, triangle of NVIDIA cards, if you will. So it's kind of like... it's. In the ballpark of all of those, it's also kind of like the 6750 XT, which is a little bit better than this card. Um, so, But this is above the recommended specifications for 1080p 60 FPS. So this kind of shows uh, people, because right now you can get one of these uh, for a pretty good deal, I would say. This card does have 12 gigabytes of VRAM, so for 1080p, it's going to do really good. You could potentially try 1440p with FSR2, uh, you know, downscale that to like 720p resolution or 1080p resolution, upscale it, uh, and get similar performance there too. So today we're going to be looking at 1080p specifically, just to show the settings for everybody watching. So we've got the, the uh, resolution here, you know, it's 1080p, native resolution with TAA high, no upscaling. We will take a look at upscaling, see what that does for performance in a little bit. Um, you know, V-Sync off, frame rate, you know, I just kind of set the cap. It's not really going to be able to reach that sort of FPS target. But you can see the graphics card, AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT. And then the global quality preset is Ultra with RT off. We may look at RT in a little bit here. Um, but these RDNA 2 cards aren't really that good at RT. They're basically like a RTX 20 series graphics card. So first gen RT in terms of the performance there. Um, so ultra preset this is not what the game recommends the rec the recommended will actually be the high preset we'll look at that in a little bit as well um, but just to show ultra performance at native resolution for 1080p you can see outside of hogsmeade this is going to be the place to test because this is going to be the most stressful area in the game in terms of testing the actual performance of the game compared to testing it in somewhere like uh hogwarts castle for instance so just to kind of run through here. You can see if we go inside. I like to go inside the building just to show the difference in terms of how the game performs when you're indoors as opposed to outdoors. And you can see the FPS. This is this is what the sort of S FPS you would get if you were in Hogwarts, the castle. Um, so when you go outside, you'll notice that the performance drops quite a bit see there we go down to like in the 70s there um, so that's that's basically the native resolution 1080p performance so it's seen it's looking pretty solid so far um, compared to some of the older graphics cards that I tested you know this one holds up pretty well that 12 gigabyte frame buffer on the 6700 XT is coming in really handy for this title so let's take a look at uh, the game's recommended preset. So that's going to be recommended. That's going to drop everything down to high. Um, so that's what the game recommends. Um, but it seems like from what we've seen, you can get away with ultra preset pretty easily with this graphics card. But if you run it on high, you're going to be averaging you know, around 90, 90 FPS outside. So that's, uh, that's really good if you wanted to cap the game frame rate at 120. Uh, when you go inside Hogwarts, it'll be at 120, typically. So that's going to be it for high. Uh, if we want to... Let, well, you know what? Let's leave it with recommended high, and let's let's test the RT. So let's go ahead and turn um, RT reflections on to Ultra and see if that works. We may have to restart the game. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, we, we are going to have to restart the game. So that's unfortunate. Okay, so I've restarted the game now so we can test the RT settings. So I do have the ray traced reflections enabled, just to kind of show that again. You can see, so RT reflections are on. These are the ones that actually make a visual difference. The other two don't really seem like they do much. Um, so Ultra, we're just going to go with Ultra for now and see what that looks like. So this is it with... 
the RT reflections. So we're going to need to find like translucent stuff on the ground or I guess reflective surfaces. So you can see that there. Uh, but overall the game seems to run really well, I would say. So let's go and see what happens if we go outside. All right, let's try testing with the ultra preset again because we did drop it down to high. Okay, so RT is on ultra and everything's ultra. And we can see, okay, so now, yeah, we've lost quite a bit of performance. They're going up to ultra with the RT reflections on. But overall, I would say, like I said in my other videos, I do feel like the ray tracing implementation on this game leaves a lot to be desired in terms of what it actually does to the visuals. So it's very hard to tell what is actually... Like, I can tell that the surface is bouncing the light uh, differently, but it is so subtle that in, in fast motion sequences, like where you're running around like this, you're never really going to notice the difference. You're not really going to perceive a difference between native and, and RT. So that's why I feel like for the amount of performance penalty that it results in, it's better to just leave it off in this game. Um, so let's go back and turn it off and see what that looks like. So with it off, well, you know, I don't know. It doesn't really seem like it's... I can't really tell the difference in terms of the visuals. But it seems like the game at native res with no RT, I mean, it looks as intended. Uh, if we go and test the FSR upscaling, just kind of see what that looks like. So now it's effectively rendering the game internally at 720p. And it seems like there's very little loss in terms of the visual clarity. So it's almost like this could be a good option as well. If you're someone who really wants a silky smooth experience, you know, FSR2 uh, for this graphics card, the 6700 XT at 1080p does seem to be able to do that for you. Even in Hogsmeade. So I guess the last thing we'll do is let's take a quick look at Intel's XESS and see how that one runs. So again, 720p on XESS quality. So very similar performance overall. Uh, and I don't really notice much of a difference in the visuals. But we are getting pretty good performance with this graphics card at 1080p resolution. So, and I think part of that is because this graphics card does have that 12 gigabyte frame buffer. So 1080p performance isn't really going to be impacted in any way uh, by a lack of video memory. So I guess with that said, the good news is that you can run full native resolution at 1080p ultra settings on a 6700 XT and get good, you know, above 60 FPS performance. But if you wanted higher FPS, you could turn on FSR2 or XESS, and the visuals won't really suffer in any real noticeable way. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this content, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.